Okay, we're going to do this. Goodbye, moonshine. All my quests are now to the west of the map area, right? Uh, this was a quest I got from the dodgy, skanky bar I was in, right? The guy behind the bar said one of these customers are missing and pointed me towards the right rabbit hole. So let's go there. I can't. There's still enemies nearby. Why are there still enemies nearby? Crusaders finally caught up to me. Have they? What's exploding? Someone's coming to me, right? Who is it? Hidden again. They're still moving towards me, though. Oh. Order of Eschaton Pathfinder. I don't, I've never heard of these guys before. They're getting karma for killing those guys. Okay. Where? Where's the other one? Skiz? Do you know where he is? Is he down here? Biohazard Facility Expedition Brief. What the fuck? Maybe we're not going to head west. What the hell is this? Pathfinders. According to the data collected from a United States Army Corps of Engineers holotape, there should be a biological weapons facility somewhere in this sector. Unfortunately, further into is scant. The holotape sustained had significant damage and could not be properly read. As such, take all necessary precautions. The last thing we need is to get caught unprepared by an outbreak of something. No, smallpox. S-E-B-O-V? What the hell was that? Or limit 115. No idea what those two things are. Do not attempt to secure any such facility. Simply return with any findings, and a hazmat team will lock down the area. Glorium Dio. War Saint Octavia. Who the fuck are these? Who the fuck are these? Where could they have come from? I have no idea. What do you have? Anything interesting? Oh, these are Crusaders. Oh. Oh. Ow. I say ow. That didn't actually get me. <laughs> Can I go up the ladder, please? I'll see what the other person has. That comes like that person had, like, special orders. Have they all got that on them? That's the same thing, isn't it? Okay. Well, I'll look out for... Anything biohazardous, I guess. Okay, so the right rabbit hole is another strip club, sure. And we're going to talk to a stripper or a dancer to find out if they know where the person has gone. I don't know what his name was. Jessica? Oh, hey there. What can I do for you? Randall Jacobson, that's his name. Do you know him? I'm looking for him. Yeah. Nice guy. Haven't seen him in a while. Did something happen to him? I hope not. He was one of the few people who actually talked to me here. I have no idea. He's just vanished, apparently, according to the bar owner of the other place. I mean, he may have just, like, stopped drinking, right? <laughs> I need information on where he was last seen. Do you know when you last saw him? He was here a few days ago. He looked upset when he came in here. Didn't even try and strike up a conversation with me like he usually does. Okay. I know he likes to talk to a guy who lives in the train station just outside of this place called, um, uh, Bright Town, I think. I'm sorry, I wish I knew more. Do you know where that is? If you find anything out, please tell me. Sure. Okay. Sounded a bit aggressive, didn't it? I don't know where Bright Town is. Okay, thank you. See you later. Okay, so this is not close. Oh, well, it's not too far away. Okay. Okay, maybe. Maybe head there. Now, maybe. But there is something really close by too, right? It's the Bernardo. I need to talk to someone, like, next door. Right? Could probably now. We could just head to this. Right, not get too distracted. You know. It's not hard to exactly come back here, is it? But uh, first I'll just uh, look around the bar, see if there's anyone else here to talk to. Anyone else with names? Customer. Customer. Steve? How's it hanging? It's hanging well, Steve. It's hanging to the left. As if that actually came up. 
So long as it's there, right? What can I do for you? Heard any gossip, Steve? Here in the White Rabbit, you mean? Drink some pussy, that's about it. In the frontier? Nothing, no bees, drink some pussy, if you ask me. This ain't Vegas. Man, who talks like that, you know? <laughs> Have you been to Vegas, have you, Steve? Been there? That's my hometown. Ah, good old Vegas. You know what I love about it. Oh, fucking snow. No cocaine? There's no cocaine in Vegas. I'm surprised about that. Well, I'm sure they could make use of a bartender there too, Steve. Why don't you go back home to New Vegas? Actually, this wasn't always my gig. Back home, I was trying to make it as a comedian, believe it or not. Didn't work out too well. Nah, they said I was about as funny as the sound of Dick Claw's footsteps. Go fuck yourselves, I said, and somehow ended up here. In retrospect, I probably should have done more ass kissing. Oh well. Come on, there's more to the story than that, Steve. Spill the beans, what exactly brought you here? Survivor instincts, that's what. See, I may or may not have stolen a sizable amount of caps from one of the casinos. Ooh. Well, all the way to Good Springs. I thought I was in the clear. Yeah, right, barely made it out of there in one piece. Did it ever occur to you to just try and give back the money? That's a stupid idea, Winkle. What a stupid idea? Why do I say this? I can't continue this without saying this. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realise I was talking to a fellow comedian. Bring back the money. Are you crazy? Exactly. Fucking stupid. Nah, no, the families aren't really big on forgiveness. They'd still kill me just to send me a message. I know. Yeah, they're, they're not exactly nice guys. Besides, craps don't usually last very long around here. Hookers, booze, cars, dice, the occasional jet. Pussy. Think things to empty your pockets real quick. That was me. Whoops. Got voices mixed up there. <laughs> oh, I see. You're a moron. What is this? Tell me about it. Yeah, tell, tell me about it, Steve. Anyways, the Mojave had proven to be way too dangerous, so I got the fuck out of there. Never looked back. And now I'm here serving drinks to these horny cocaine addicts. Yep, that's my little nickname for the locals. How is that working out for you, Steve? It's shit. Shitty shit. But hey, beggars can't be choosers. Am I right? Okay, well, that went nowhere. <laughs> See you around, Steve. No one didn't make his comedian, and he said nothing that was funny at all. Brian with a T? Here, take this. It's on me. Oh, cheers, mate. So, what brings you to this lovely establishment? Uh, I was actually looking for somebody, um, but I already know now. I was here for a drink, and you gave me one, so job done. Then you came to the right place. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Brian with a T. I find it hard to, to believe you can afford a place like this. Why? How expensive is it? Right? You don't look like a beggar. Yeah. Judging by the uniform, you're NCR. That's right. Born and bred in Reading. <laughs> God, I hated that place. Reading? Only reason I joined the military was to get away from there. Rules never really appealed to me. In fact, I'm supposed to be on patrol right now. Oh well. I can dub him into his SO. Well, I can't, right? I don't know who he is. <laughs> what do you do here, Brian River T? What does it look like I do here? I drink, I make a few deals, and then I fuck. Yeah, sure, it's a hard life, but <laughs> it's a sure rewarding one. Alright, good luck with that. Come back soon. Bye-bye. There's more NCR guys here. Uh, are you okay? Do you want something? Have you tried H-bomb? It's amazing. No, I don't do heroin. What's upstairs? Oh. Oh, okay. No one actively busy right now? No. Ah, fresh face! Maybe a new regular too? Come on, take a seat. Make yourself at home. Uh... It's a bit seedy up here, isn't it? Imagine doing that as a job. Hello. Come on, sit down, relax. Oh. Then we can talk. Uh, really? Where? Can I sit here? I've not be sitting in front of the cage. Well? There you go. This is nice, isn't it? There are goddamn snowstorms outside, and here we are. All warm and cozy, just shooting the breeze. Name's off the fin, but call me Art. Most people do. Okay, Art. Is that a legion helmet I see behind the bar? They use it, yes, but it's actually Roman. What? Or so I've been told. It's a gift from an old friend. They use it in kinky sex play, do they? Are the girls here your slaves? Did we sell you slaves? Did you see any of them wearing a collar? No, you fucking didn't. Alright, calm down. 
you know, it's a reasonable question, the world we live in, you know, and especially me as a Legion. Can you see the clothes I'm wearing? It would be on character for me to ask that, okay? Art. Fair enough. Well, to answer your question, the girls get paid, handsomely I might add, and they can leave any time they want, but why the hell would they? They've got it good here. Food, shelter, security, warmth. What more could you ask? So they have to fuck for it. There are worse things. I were passing judgment on them. I was just wondering if they were slaves. People want to do that, let them do it. Is this your place? This fine establishment? Yeah, I'm the proud owner. So, what do you make of it? Yeah, it's a bit sleazy, mate. You haven't even tied it up. Why do, why do people not do that? I don't understand. Why everyone just lives in their waist, right? Like, look at him behind him. This thing's hanging off the wall, you know? <laughs> oh, you just lay it on the line, don't you? I like that. Well, I'm not threatened by you, mate, so why not? How's business going here? Pretty darn good, but success is something of a double-edged sword, my friend. Because here's the problem with having something good. Everybody wants a piece of it. So you gotta keep protecting it, day in and day out. Ain't easy living like that. Do you get a lot of people come here then, do you? Trying to kidnap girls? There's not many guards, is there? I don't actually think I saw any. Did I? I don't like either of these. It sounds like a massive bull lake, mate. Surviving always is around here. Better to make something of yourself while you're at it. Sure. Nice talking to you, I'll get going. Guess there's no quest here, right? Wait, um... Well, I'll just go straight to the point. I'm low on manpower, and you look like you can handle yourself. Would you be interested in taking a job? Maybe. What's the reward? What's the job? About my girl, Crystal. The prettiest thing you've ever seen, I tell you. You know, the kind of girl that attracts a lot of attention. Many people got their eye on her. But Rick, one of my employees, well, an ex-employee, he took it to a whole other level. He and one more guy were supposed to escort her to Green Ferry. But Rick kneecapped his partner and took Crystal away. Motherfucker kidnapped her. Okay. Sure. Would you say Rick is dangerous? Well, it means just kneecapped a prostitute. <laughs> sure. Glad to hear it. Get her back, and there's 500 caps in it for you. Okie okay, dokie. Do you care if I kill Rick? Oh no, you just give him a nice little warning shot. To the head. That'll do it. Okay. Do you know where to find them? Word has it. Rick was seen in Goose Hollow two days ago. Makes sense. He was born there, after all. I recognize that Pop name. Pop down there and sniff around a bit. See if you can come up with anything. Bartenders usually keep an ear to the ground. So, um, off you go. Okay. Sure. That's Amore. Where is that, then? I, I've recognized Goose Hollow. Oh, it's here. Okay, well, sure, I'll do that. When the moon is sure, I like a big pizza pie, that's a more do, 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 do. Okay, open the gate. Oh. Who is that? Food and drink. I want to go in here, right? Goose Hollow Post Exchange. Is it, this is the post office. Is that what that means? Is that like an Americanism, post exchange? Who are they exchanging their post with? Hello. What can I get you? I'm looking for either Crystal or the person that took her. Someone called Rick. Do you know Rick? Rick? You mean the Johnsons kid? Yeah, I know him. I used to, anyway. Have you seen him recently? Doesn't sound like it. I don't know. Does ten years ago count as recently? Mm -hmm. You didn't have to be sarcastic, did you? <laughs> Although it was a stupid question on my part, right? I, I sort of realised after I asked it. Do you know where he used to live? With his folks in the Johnson residence. They kicked him out when he got hooked on jet. That was the final straw, I guess. His mother still lives there. Poor woman. Is it not a nice house? Do you know where that is? No, did you tell me? What can you tell me about him from 10 years ago? Seems a bit pointless, really, doesn't it? Because, like, me 10 years ago is not the same person I am now. Oh, that one was always a troublemaker. Not really a bad kid, mind you. He just had a way of getting into all kinds of problems. 
used to always run around with that Henderson's boy, Jimmy. What a combo that was. Jimmy? Okay, thank you. Sure thing. Okay, so this seems like some little shitty settlement in, doesn't it? So it's got a few houses here. Oh, that's where I put the totem, outside this person's house. How come they've just left it there, right? And someone came into my garden and put up some, like, weird-ass totem. First I'd be like, what the fuck, right? <laughs> I'd be shit scared, right? It seems like something would happen in the horror film. But then I was like, throw it away, right? I'd, I'd break it. Is someone living here? They've left their dinner on the side. Your dinner's getting cold. Why did you go to sleep? You made dinner and then just went to sleep? Do you mind me being inside your house? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> what are you doing in my house? <laughs> Why did you leave the door unlocked, huh? Weirdo. You just like to talk to you about your son, Rick. Rick Johnson. Well, I've got nothing to say to you. Oh. He's dead and buried as far as I'm concerned. Oh, you mean figuratively. What did he do? Look, that boy is nothing but trouble. It takes hard work to sustain yourself here. And not only did he not know what work meant, he'd steal from me to buy that filth he inhaled. Now, I know what it means to live with an addict. My brother taught me a great deal about that. So think of me whatever you want. I wasn't going to go through that again. Not a chance. I suppose it's quite the dilemma, I guess. Do you help them or do you just kick them out? I mean, if you just kick them out of the first sign of trouble without trying to help, then you're a bit of a shithead. But if you've tried helping multiple times and it's just no hope, then I can understand. The word around is that he's back in town. Have you not seen him around? I guess not. Rick is back? No, I doubt that. I think you've been misinformed. Why do you say that? Would you mind if I looked around the house? You're not hiding him in here, are you? You're not trying to, like, shoo me away. Yes, I'd mind. He's not here. If he really is back in town, I can think of only one place he'd go. Talk to Jimmy Henderson. He'll know. Yes, yeah, the second time that After name's all, popped up. He's the one who ruined Rick in the first place. And now I'd like you to leave. It's really weird when people say that, right? They blame other people for ruining someone's life. Like, this Rick guy didn't have, like, any choices that he's ever made, right? Just blames, like, his old friend for, like, influencing him. Well, it's Rick such a, like, a little pussy that he can't make his own decisions. It's such bullshit. That takes some responsibility, you know? To put responsibility on them. Like, I could say the same thing about her, right? I mean, it's just bad parenting that your son just turned into a druggie. I'm not quite sure how we're meant to deal with that, right, as lesion. <laughs> we seem a bit underfunded compared to those guys. There's another one there. Hello. Military police. Military police? I heard Charlie at the Wasted Angel used to be a bombshell. It's a shame she's a zombie now. So what are you? Oh, you are NCR, okay. I mean, sure, it's their base, right? <laughs> I guess this is like the suburb fifth oh yeah, I don't need to talk to you. That quest failed, didn't it? After I talked to Crusaders? Weird weirdly enough. Though that quest it wasn't that to do with uh betraying Legion, which I'm not doing. But I swear I had something else too, right? And it all lies on you or something, that failed. Okay. Hello, I just let myself into your house, do you mind? You lost? No, I'm exactly where I want to be. I want to talk to you about your old friend Rick. Have you heard from him recently? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe fuck yourself. How's that? I do it quite often. It's quite nice, actually. But I actually want to know about Rick right now. It sounds like maybe you do know. I could fuck you up instead. I'd like to see you try. But don't forget, I'm literally on my home turf here. Your call, your funeral. Why does that matter? Like, I'm standing right in front of you. Why, why does it matter where you are? <laughs> search the house for clues. I'm going to search your house, mate. What do you have in you? Nothing. Not kicking me out. <laughs> I guess it's in here. No. God damn it. Why, why did you lock that? Huh? What's that? Whiskey? It's not any of those books. Books. Oh, move. 
I moved your bookcase, mate. Do you mind? That's it, Skitters. Keep him there. Oh, it's fucking locked. Needs a key. Do you want to talk to me? You just had to poke around, didn't you? And now I have to make you disappear. Maybe that's where he's keeping, like, girls, right? That he's kidnapped. You talk the talk, but I can see you're trembling. Get out of my way, and you get to walk away. I don't want to say that. Let's get this over with. I'll make it quick. <laughs> make that quick and then run away, you little bitch. Where are you going? Where's he gone? <laughs> he's just cowering. <laughs> Poor little pussy hole. Thank you for your key. Give it the big one, and then just... um. Vanish through the floor. It's a good job I grabbed that, wasn't it? <laughs> okay. God damn it. This gun needs a repair. Again? Why does this gun need repairing again? Didn't I get like someone in the Crusaders to repair it? Was that not in this save? Who oh. are you? I am your mother's lover. I've come to find you, Rick. She wants to make amends. <laughs> got any crystal meth in here? Not here. Go away. No. Your voice, mate. I didn't expect that. You seem a bit of a fresh boy, don't you? I'll ask one last time. Where is the crystal? She's safe and sound, all right? Or maybe he loves her. Or maybe he thinks he loves her. Maybe this is a stalker. You kidnapped her, mate. No, I saved her. She wanted to leave that asshole, and I helped her escape. Oh, no. <laughs> just, I just murdered like some guy upstairs just because I was inside his house. <laughs> Prove it. Let me talk to her. I'm telling you the truth. He treated her like garbage. Abused her every single day. She deserves better. Someone who actually cares about her. I can give her that. I mean, to be fair, I could see it, right? That guy in the place was very seedy. So I could believe you. But if you let me talk to her, then I can confirm, right? Because this could just be like a nice guy, right? This could be like an incel. Do you have a drug problem still? Now, who told you that? My mother? That old witch? Yeah. I had a drug problem. That's what I said. I've been clean for years, yeah. and I'd never do anything to hurt Crystal. Ten years ago. It's a long time. Okay, let me talk to her. Can you prove it to me, what you're saying? Look, if, if I let you talk to her, will you leave us alone? You can just tell Arthur we were never here. Uh, I will make my mind up after I talk to her. All right, all right, but don't... Go doing anything stupid now. Crystal, you can come out. Okay. Maybe he's telling the truth. I don't think I've seen you before. I guess Art got himself a new attack dog, eh? The voices seem a bit quiet. Voices gone down. Just changed that. Is it true? Did Rick really help you escape? He did. He saved me. Okay. Sure. From who? From... Arthur, the guy at the bar. That's right. Because working in the White Rabbit was only supposed to be a temporary job. Okay? Okay. I was just trying to make enough caps for a fresh start. So when Art promised to double my pay if he became my exclusive client, well, I took him up on it. But when it was time for me to leave, he wouldn't let me. Said I belonged to him. But he doesn't own me. Nobody does. Oh. I did what he paid me to do every time. I worked it all off. Okay, I don't think the audio is doing my settings. I think it's just the recording, right? Because she was like quite quiet and then all of a sudden it was quite loud. Sure. Okay, well, I mean, I don't care. So I could just leave you here. But if you're happy with it, I won't send you back if you don't want to go. But they did promise me 500 caps. So. You gotta offer me something. There's no way can I ask this. The other guys offer me 500 caps. I intend to finish the job. I'd rather die. <laughs> and so would Rick. Please, just tell Art we left the frontier. Let us go. So I, I could have passed a speech check. Where does it matter? I was gonna do it by force anyway. <laughs> I mean, you're his property, right? You know, as as a legion man, I understand all about slaves. If he's made you his slave, basically, then you know. You have no right to disappear from him, do you? You come in with me. Like I said, I would rather die. Are you going to put up a fire? Are you? She has a gun? Where were you hiding that? Where were you hiding that? You see, attacking us too. Man, the, the girl has more balls than both of you guys. 
Uh, he's not going to give me money now, though, either, is he? <laughs> oh, this job went great. <laughs> oh, size SMG. So what do I do now? <laughs> he's not going to be happy with that. <laughs> Return and tell him I killed his, like, exclusive prostitute. <laughs> what happened? Just killed, like, a loads of innocent guys. Hey, I heard you had a close call. Is it true? Were you really attacked by the hanged man? Because he was a big enough problem even back when I was still sure he was just an urban legend. I mean, you should hear the way my men talk about him. It's like he's the fucking Grim Reaper. I'm telling you, they're scared shitless, and now this. If that motherfucker's real, you've got to let me know as soon as possible. Can't have some self-righteous asshole fucking with our business? With our heads? So what gives? Gavin. Anybody say my friend Gavin? I Man, I should have brought back the body, right? He might have liked that. Hello. What's up? Um, Crystal is dead. She didn't want to come home. What? Uh-huh. She fought back. I had no choice. She whipped out like a silent SMG from her backside. What do you mean she fought back? She ran away with him, didn't she? Unfucking believable. Are you not surprised? You don't actually seem too broken up about it, so do you not care? I I guess I knew it was a possibility. Never trust a whore, I'm telling you. Well, that's what they get for betraying me. Yeah, I agree. Anyway, thanks for having ah. me. Here's your money. Still full payment? Still full payment? I don't want your money. Of course I want the money. Give it. Feel free yeah. to spend it here. See you around. Nah, I'm just spending it here, mate. Thanks. Easy 500 caps. <laughs> That's amore. Do, 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 do. Okay, before I sort of um, heading off to maybe look for that missing person, I'm going to have a look around Goose Hollow. There might be some other things to do. Old quick gun done. Howdy, youngin. Hello. Have a cool name. Who are you? The name's Walter Dunn, but most folks just call me Quick Gun on account that I can drop a man before he can blink. Used to be a desert ranger. I came up here to retire, but turns out war follows me like a lost puppy. Blackthorn and the young bloods got the front lines covered for now. So I just play my guitar and enjoy my peace. But I reckon the day those Legion fuckers set foot in this town is the day they understand the word fear. Um... I might be an old man, but pre-war nukes are older and they only do half the damage I can. So enjoy your stay. Take in a few beers. I got it covered. Okay, well, you're like the town's protector, are you? Let's not mention that we're Legion, I guess. <laughs> See you around. Enjoy your stay in Goose Hollow, youngin. See, like, in comparison to that guy's voice compared to the people we just talked to, that's much louder, right? There's not to do with my settings. Uh, this is the post office. So, did I miss anything in here? It's quite a big place, actually, wasn't it? Private Alvin. <sighs> Welcome to the Goose Hollow Post Exchange. Ready to purchase some goods? Actually have some things to sell, actually. Um, you seem quite miserable. Do you not like working here? None of your business. Now quit harassing me and go do your shopping. Very rude. <sighs> Welcome. I'm here to do some shopping then, mate. At your service. Two thousand fortune. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna sell some things. Uh, Skittles is carrying some stuff too, so we can hopefully drain all his money, and then uh, we can look around and see if there's anyone else to talk to in here. Oh, some glasses from that guy. Know where they is? Steam glasses. Yeah, I can. See, plus two repair. What do they look like? Cool, it's like some steampunky shit. Okay, yeah. <laughs> we look like a psychopath. <laughs> we love a crowd on our head and wearing those. Cool. Okay. Hello. Oh, sorry. Just seeing if there's anyone else here to talk to. Close. Oh, it's like exchange. It means like a fucking. Chat later, hotshot. Too many eyes and ears. My cover might get blown. Oh. Are you a lesion? Okay. Maybe that's something for later. That exchange is like some sort of like fucking um, mall, right? What can I get you? Not like post office. <laughs> I, I don't need to talk to you. Yeah. I don't know if there's anyone actually in this place. Okie dokie, let's continue on with what we were doing, right? Searching for the missing patron. So first we were searching for a missing dancer, now we're searching for a missing customer. 
Let's try and not kill this guy, though. <laughs> people up here. A church? Is it people or is it animals? What am I looking at here? Yeah, one there. That's got to be people, right? No, it's like rabbits. Okay. Where's this place? Abandoned church. Sure. Is this worth looking around in? I'm going to go into the basement. Hello? Anyone home? No? Chinese Army Special Ops Training Manual. Ooh, that does something, right? Uh, sneak increase by three. No, it doesn't matter. In this game, doesn't matter. In this mod, doesn't matter. Oh my god, what else is in here? Uh, Father's holotape. What the hell is this shit? Who the fuck are you? Where am I? Okay, it says that maybe a dodgy father. Shh, quiet, my child. You've fallen prey to the demons, but don't worry, I can bring you back to the light. Fuck you, you crazy old man. Let me go. Oh lord, please give the strength and forgiveness to proceed to sins I must cast upon this demon. Understand that I'm still your vessel, I am your sword. Amen. What are you doing? Stop. Ugh. I mean, there's like blood and shit, right? My arm, you got my fucking arm. Mm-hmm. Don't know what you're talking about. Demons? What are they? They're hiding in the mountains to the north. They have a camp. Okay. Please don't hurt me anymore. This might be the ghouls, right? It's all about the church of whatever. Because so I think they're up there from where I am. Thank you, demon. I pray that the Lord forgives you. You won't win here, old man. My friends will come for you at night, then you can run hell. Okay, it doesn't sound like they were innocent at all. The Lord forgives all. Now pray for forgiveness or you shall go back below. Okay. I guess they're probably from the ghouls upstairs, right? North, they're north from where I am. And that's like a church of the eternal fire, right? And if this is a father, sounds maybe it's to do with those. Entry one. There is no end to the bounty in which God has offered down to me, a term that had once been the constant in my thoughts as I lay in this town. Seeing it every day was once full of hope in my soul, for once I felt that I was truly doing the Lord's work and helping the people. Now the town has fallen to the demons and shadows, and once again I am alone. It was by sheer luck that the demons never found my resting place. And when they left, taking the bounty of our town with them, there was nothing left but smoke and ashes. It has been a long time since I have written it in the journal to keep my thoughts in check, but now I find that there is nothing to do but write. So that is what I shall do. The Lord has not abandoned me yet, as I found enough supplies to keep me going at least for now. Okay, this seems quite long. Can I see what the last entry is? Let's read all this. Entry 5. The demon passed away the nights I slept. Okay, this is probably about the thing I just listened to, right? I keep a weapon near the bed so that I may be prepared for when the others come. I shall strike in a few nights so that the demons will be the least of my worries. For now, my plans cannot go on due to the stench of my former guest. I must dispose of the demon, burn the remains. Except for the arm, I shall keep that as a memory. A bind tying the demon to earth. When I return, I shall continue to plan... Avenge my flock. Okay, he's gone off. Okay. They, they seem to have actually came to him. Oh, fuck. I was going to say, someone come in here now. Demon, I know you would come for me in the darkness. Prepare for forgiveness. I'm not a demon. I'm not a demon. I'm not a demon. Okay, maybe he's just cray cray. Okay, there's not going to be any demons out here now too, is there? No? Is anything actually in here? Oh, I think there actually is. Oh, what? Oh, why Why did I do this? Why did I do this? Why did I do this? Hello? Maybe he wasn't cray cray. Skitters, protect me please. Okay. Are we good? 
It's just spooky music in here. Is it? Yeah, it's just spooky music. I don't think there's anyone here, right? It's gotten third person. <laughs> right? Doesn't seem like it. Right. Right. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's actually anything here. Because once you go outside the building, it, all that stuff shuts up. Okay. There is some sort of, like, settlement here, though. This seems to be where the missing guy has gone. Where are we? Arlington. Hello. Junk here. Relatively fresh junk for sale. You! Yeah, you! You look like you could use some quality junk! My junk for your caps. What do you say? Uh... What kind of junk are you selling? We've got grey junk, white junk, scratchy junk, smooth junk, funky junk, glowing junk, and more! Give me enough caps, and I can even get you some gold-plated junk. Gold-plated junk? Glowing-plated junk? Sorry. Is it radioactive? No way! 8 out of 10 ghouls have told me that it's perfectly safe! And the other two are feral, so they don't count. I'm confused, sorry, are you stealing people's private parts? What? <laughs> Where am I? This is Arlington. There used to be more people here, but they left. Where did they go? Was it to do with the demons? Some left after Brighttown, but Grant says that most of them just got tired of living here. I hope we're leaving soon. There's nothing to do here besides sell junk. Alright, can you tell me what the deal is with Bright Town? I think that's actually where it said that guy was, right? I used to live there, with Mom and Dad. Then something happened, and they died. Along with a lot of other people. I was too young to remember what happened, and the adults act weird whenever I ask about it. I think the Legion and NCR had a fight or something, but... I don't know what that has to do with us. Okay. Thank you, child. Can you show me your junk? Oh, oh my god, that sounds horrible. Show, show me what you're selling. Prepare <laughs> to enter a whole new world of junk. Okay. That's oh, just scrap. It is just scrap. Okay. You only got 50 caps as well. It's not very good, is it? See ya. Another satisfied customer. I mean, not really. You know. Whose house is this? Oh, wow, this is quite big. Hello, there's got a lot of people in here, isn't there? Look at these scabs. Welcome to Arlington Heights, stranger. Doubt you'll find much here, but you're welcome to look around. Okay. Can you tell me about the place? It was a town before the war, and a small settlement after it. Now it's a little better than a flop house. Can you tell me what happened, please? Why is no one wanting to live here? Right town, that's what happened. No one really wanted to stick around after the massacre. And you can't blame them. There was a chance we could have bounced back, but that went out the window when the window goes over in the town. Oh. You know, you just take their legs. Just, you just wipe their legs off. They're easy to deal with. What's your opinion on this massacre? Did you like the massacre? <laughs> what? Why are you still here? Why don't you move? Some of us don't have anywhere else to go. Others, like myself, prefer life out here to living under a superpower. Fair enough. How'd you sustain yourselves, though? We used to sell scrap to this cult north of Bright Town, but they stopped sending their people out a while back. Cults? Since then, we've been relying on this group called the Crusaders. Ah, what? <laughs> Might want to sort of hedge your bets a little bit now. Though I guess I did still leave loads of people there, right? Someone just going to take up the mantle. Right, it says to deal with those guys, right? The Legion guy. Either to make an allegiance or kill them. We only killed the one person. Are they just now going to fall apart? Or are they just going to have like a second in command? Or are they just going to roll over to Legion? I don't think they would do that, right? They'll probably just install someone else to take over. I'm not really sure we accomplished much, to be honest. See you later. Yeah, later. Okay, so the quest mark is pointing to this door. Keep out. What's through there? Maybe that is Bright Town, right? 
probably Wendigos, I guess. I bet that's probably just a warning, right? Don't go in because of Wendigos. Okay, the station, right? Yeah, that's it. Metro station. So are we going underground or? Hello? Old fart moonshine. Is that what I'm grabbing? Why am I grabbing this? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, no, I did one there. Turn to Jessica. With the fart stuff? Blue passcode. Why did they want... Like, it said he liked that stuff, right? So I guess it's just like he was there and now he's gone. Ooh, what did I just pick up? I can actually break into this because it's very easy. <laughs> oh, why is this like so like weird colours? I mean, I say I can't break into it. I still need to pass this. I may fail. <laughs> so, um, I love it there. Uh, it might be Drex. No. Okay, so it's probably R for one of them. Would it be that? Might be Brass. Oh. Oh, I've only got one attempt left. Can I can I get something back? Can I get something back? Nice. Uh, so Crass? No. Wait, it probably rest something Rass then. Is there anything else that with Rass? No. Oh, I'm confused. Grog, yeah, there is Crass. Now, did I already do that one? <laughs> God damn it. Because it's not that. 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 It might be trash. No. Oh, I need more attempts. Because I'm an idiot. Please. That removed. That removed. Can I get more attempts? I can't believe I've not got this, right? Oh, grass! I must miss that one. Okay, what is on here? Anything good? A log? There seems to be less and less people passing through this station as a threat of war looms overhead. It's sad to see this once bustling station devolve into a ghost town. All I want is for some more people to come through here. P.S. Fuck you, Roger. I know you broke into my safe. Safe? Cherry bombs. Yeah, yeah fuck you, Roger. I wanted to break into that safe. It wasn't really worth opening that, was it? <laughs> okay. I'm not, I'm not quite sure why that... Oh. Oh. Was that the car I was looking for? Was it, is it, was his name Stephen? I don't think his name was Stephen, was it? It said to return, the, the quest thing is not, um, recognize me picking that up, but uh, he was, she was the white rabbit hole, right? But I feel like it was like a Jordan or something, wasn't it? I can't remember. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I may have found out something about your customer that you liked. I have found a bottle of moonshine in that place. With a label for the old fart saloon. That might be your next place to look then. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. It's just pointing me to like a new bar. Did I really need to come back to Hearth for that then? Could I not figure that out myself? Head to the old fart saloon. Where is that then? Like, why, why could I not just make my way there from there? That, that's still pointing to the same thing. I know. It's pointing somewhere else. Why, why didn't I just make my way there? That's stupid. Why did, why did I go back to her? That, that was stupid. Whoever did that, that was stupid. You should have, like, done, you know, head to the old fart saloon after finding that. But like, she said she wanted to find out, right, about what happened to him. We'll, you know, go back afterwards once we actually have found something out. Right, saloon guards. Malik the nonsense sailor. I feel like Vault State used to be more important. What just happened? What just happened? Why, why did that pop up on the top left? Is that like the world? Wasteland? Perk? Tricky dick? Stop right there! Uh -huh. You look like someone who's ready and willing to serve their country! The Enclave could use someone like you! The Enclave? See, I'm a recruiter, thus the uniform. I can take you to our base. 
I'll just need you to hand over all your weapons before we go. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. Do you think I'm dumb? <laughs> I'm good, mate. Well, I didn't think you hated America, but I guess looks can be deceiving. The Enclave will endure with or without you. I mean, you could say the Enclave hates America, right? Of the shit they've done, so... Okay, we talk to Bob. What? What? Do you own this place? Do you know someone called Randall Jacobson? That's it. No, no, never heard of him. No, uh, listen, uh, I don't know who he is. Intelligence of two. Look, I can tell you're lying. It's pretty obvious. All right, look. Randall was a buddy of mine. He loved it here. Loved the atmosphere. Loved drinking my booze. But that's beside the point. I hadn't seen Randall in a while. I started getting worried for the guy, so I go out looking. I stumble across the poor bastard, stiff as a doornail and cold as night. He had a note on him, saying how he'd fallen into the shits after his wife of three years died. That's why he'd started drinking a bit more than usual. Poor guy. I did the only thing I could for the guy and buried him up in the church just near here. Look, I don't know what you know of him or how you know of him, but I wish you a safe trip. Okay, can I check that out? Yeah, find the grave, okay. Anyone else here to talk to in the old fart saloon? Any names? Uncle Sam? Easy, cowboy. Don't want to make too much noise around old Martha here. It was a mother getting her to calm down. And I'm not gonna let you ruin my hard work. Your cow is sick, is she? That obvious, huh? Hmm. Something's wrong with her, that's for sure. Can't put anything on her back without her keeling over. This goes on any longer. I'll have to put the old girl down. My medicine isn't too bad, you know. Do you want me to have a look? <laughs> well, be my guest. If you can get her back on her feet, there's caps in it for you. It doesn't sound like it would be something to have a high medicine skill, right? Where's my medicine skill? Like, you would think 42 would be enough to help a cow, right? I might have a mag as well, possibly. Although I used it on, like, fixing that guy's arms, didn't I? Uh, did I have another one? Maybe. An old man at the old farts soon has asked you to heal his sick big corner. Which, which one's sick, then? This one. Uh, the big corn is clearly sick, but it's difficult to determine the exact cause for this sickness. You have a feeling that the large gash across the big corn's flank may be part of the problem. With the right material, one medex, two doctor's bags, and three buff out, you may be able to use equipment to heal the alien creature. Alternatively, you can perform an operation that requires 50, yeah. Okay, well, I don't have the mats, but um, do I have a mag? It's like uh, today's physician. Yeah, I can do this. Ready to go under? I am going to heal you with an operation. Upon examination, you quickly realize that the gash on Martha's flank is infected. You move the infected flesh and close up what you can with some stitches. Upon completion of the operation, Martha's mood visibly brightens. There's a good girl. Give me reward. Back again, I see. Yeah, did you not see what I just did? I fixed her. Well, hot damn. She looks better than ever. Here you go. Least I can do for your hard work. Nice. Nice. Five hundred pull caps. Nice. Just like murder her now. <laughs> no. I won't do that. I only do that for um, innocent people trying to rescue prostitutes. <laughs> okay, let's go to his grave. Where is it? Is he at that church? I've actually been up there. Yeah, it's probably an abandoned church. It's a bit spooky. Okay, is it, which one? Where, who am I looking for? I actually don't have a shovel. Return to Tez. Oh, have I just got like confirm like this is his grave? How, how does I do that though? Because there's nothing written on it. Yeah. Right? How can I confirm that? Okay. Sure. Return to the filthy nightingale. I can buy some 556 there too. Alright. Um, this person, right? Ted. We've got booze. Uh, I found Randall. He's dead and buried up by Arlington. It's like an abandoned church. Well, shit. I don't know what I expected. But damn. Well, 
Thanks for finding out what happened to him. Take a little discount on me. Oh. A few caps. Would there have been a discount before I bought all those ammo? Would you give me a discount on that? <laughs> I'm not going to find out actually what his reward is because that's going to be popping around for ages. That, that stayed the same for around 64 caps. Although it says 80, 88. That's a lie, isn't it? Okay. All right, cool. Job dub. Now we can, um, I guess, do the other things that are out in the same sort of area, right? Which was... Bernardo, right? Find out the tragedy of Bernardo. So it's like someone's missing dog or something, right? Or some that weirdo back in Junk Flea. Stay classy, new base.